Fix error code 0x8007042 when trying to enable Windows Firewall. First of all, check if you have any security software installed on your computer. If yes, the third party would frequently take care of, turn off or deactivate, Windows Firewall. Please note that, you only need one antivirus application. Regardless of which third party, i.e., not Microsoft, antivirus application you choose it will always turn Windows Defender off to prevent conflicts. In answer to your question will it cause a conflict between Defender and Avast running simultaneously the answer is yes it will. See related threads at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash va1lc6. Avast free and Windows Defender and https colon slash slash goo.gl slash ksjgzb. Do I need Windows Defender on if I have Avast antivirus? Resolution 1, Step 1, Scan your Windows for potential malware with the recommended Avast Internet Security in this video guide. If the error 0x8007042 persists, go to the below step 2. Step 2, run Microsoft Fixit at http colon slash slash aka.ms slash diagram underscore networking 10. If you still receive error 0x8007042 when you try to turn on your Windows firewall, go to the below step 3. Step 3, install the latest Windows updates. Step 4, enable Windows. Firewall at startup. Case study 1, when you try to turn on either the Windows Defender. Or the Windows Firewall, you got the following code 0x8007042. Useful method, 1. Click on the Start button, type services.msc. And press the Enter key. 2. Locate Windows Defender Service. 3. Right click and go to the Properties tab. 4. Start the service and also make it automatic. Case Study 2. code 0x8007042 while trying to turn on Windows Firewall or update its settings and Windows Firewall is not using the recommended settings to protect your computer. Please retry the aforementioned resolution 1. Also, you can give the following two methods a shot. Method 1, go to Start menu, then write services.msc. When you get Windows Firewall change startup type from manual to automatic. Method 2, Step 1, repair two services that Windows Firewall needs on Windows, Base Filtering Engine, BFE, Windows Firewall Authorization Driver, MPSDRV, and this can be done via the command line of sfc slash scano on an elevated command prompt, the admin mode. Step 2, reinstall the drivers. Try running the following commands as the admin user, netshare add firewall reset net start mps drv net start bfe net start mps svc regs for 32 firewall appy dll. Again, please check your windows for potential malware infection. There are known strains of malware infections that may stop or corrupt the entries and executable files of windows firewall along with other services and drivers it depends on. Other voice on the web, step 1, check any viruses or any malicious software. Step 2, update your computer using the below bat file. 1. Run notepad. 2. Copy the following content, and then paste all of it into Notepad, 
sc config wowser start equals auto sc config bit start equals auto sc config decom launch start equals auto net stop wowser net start wowser net stop bits net start bits net start decom launch click file click save as and then type repair.bat or any other file name of your choice 3 In the save as type box, click all files. 4. In the save in box, click desktop, and then click save. 5. On the file menu, click exit. 6. Right click the repair.bat file that you saved in 5, and then choose run as administrator. This action should start the required services. Note, if you are prompted for an administrator password or confirmation, type the password, or click continue. 